welcome to our uh, case bats, uh, kind of primitive bat shop here in uh, Germany. Um, here's some wood from Maine. From Maine. Today we're turning a nice piece of uh, rock maple uh, from the Maine woods. We have rock maple, ash, a little bit of birch, and a little bit of beech, but rock maple and ash being the most popular. We're copying here today a uh, 141 model. Uh, it's a very uh, popular model for us. This is uh, known as a hydraulic hydraulic copy lathe, uh, made in Italy. Very nice machine, does about in about three to four minutes. As you can see, once the uh, once the bottle is turned, uh, I sand it right here on the machine. Uh, the nice thing about this machine is we can take uh, any any model that anybody has from any company, or some models that we also offer, and put your bat on here and copy it as many as you like, and it'll be an exact replica of your favorite bat. Um, once it's done turning, um, from here we will cut the uh, ends off each one uh, on our chop saw. And uh, from there we have the option to put a cup in it, uh, as some players prefer a cup in the end of the bat for weight. Um, after that, the bat would be ready for a logo or for painting. I know as many people prefer these days is to keep the bat unfinished and uh, just put a logo on it and then it's ready to hit with. Cut the ends off and uh, put our cup in it. So, technically this bat is ready for swinging. We got the uh, cup in the end. Here it takes about a half ounce of weight off the bat. Um, from there, this Maple 141 uh, model bat. Um, you can either go on our CNC machine, uh, engraving machine, in order to put your name right here on the barrel. Uh, the LaCase Bats logo will go here. We'll probably do a clear coat on this bat today. All right, so this is our paint room here in Germany. Um, it's an old barn that the, uh, my landlord let me take over as a uh, paint room. Couldn't do it in the other room just because of the dust. All right, here it's a pretty standard water-based uh, type of clear coat. Um, while there's no finish that actually is stronger than wood, uh, it's nice to put a finish on a lot of bats just in order to protect against light rain or anything like that, but uh, it's no different really than swinging an unfinished bat. Uh, it does give it a nice shine, so a lot of people like that. Typically we do um, one coat, uh, from there light sanding, 
Um, after, and then we put a second coat on immediately. This is a quick dry uh, water based uh, poly. So typically we can, you know, I have a lot of customers who come here uh, in Goodmula um, requesting a couple bats. Um, and we typically will have them in and out of here in probably two to three hours with bats 100% ready to go. And that's why, uh, that's one of the big advantages of using these uh, quick dry, quick dry polyurethanes. But we do also have the option of, uh, some people like to do like a two-tone bat, maybe possibly a black handle, uh, red barrel, that would be the Nightmares colors. Um, you know, I had some guys from Bond Capitals, uh, they will do some green bats as well. And, uh, you know, really we, we're open to doing any type of finish that the uh, customer prefers. And uh, we'll get, uh, get a bat in their hands that definitely is weighted right and uh, feels right to them. Let us know. Okay, so once this bat is uh, once this bat is dry, something like this will be the finished product. Um, the case bats logo. Uh, in Germany, we use a sticker. Uh, in Maine. Uh, we have a much, I have a much bigger bat shop. Uh, we have the option to use a sticker, uh, brand the logo in, or uh, CNC engrave it. A little bit limited here in Germany, but uh, the end result is still really high quality wood from Maine, and that's really what the players demand. So this is a finished bat. Uh, from here, we're going to take a, we're going to take a black barrel bat, um, similar to this. Go over to the CNC engraving machine and uh, put a name on there. All right, so we'll head over there. All right, just gonna measure that. Uh, get that centered in the barrel. This is a five inch logo. Uh, from here, we're ready to, uh, I've already made the uh, logo on the computer, now we're ready to put it on the bat. It's fully automatic CNC engraving. Uh, you can take any, any name, logo, uh, any, anything you can think of, we can put on the barrel. Once, this is, uh, once we put the engraving into the bat, after that we inlay it with whatever color is preferred. Typically on a black barrel bat, we'll just inlay it with uh, white, which gives it a nice, really jumps out at you uh, look uh, once you fill it in with the white. Uh, you know, we've done other colors for, to match certain team colors, uh, but white on black is definitely the most common with a baseball bat. The typical logo takes approximately uh, up to five minutes to engrave. For this one, we're doing an EBSM, uh, European Baseball and Softball Magazine, uh, on the barrel. And I'm guessing this is about a five to seven minute uh, engrave time. All right, now that it's finished engraving, uh, you see it's got the EBSM on there for the European Baseball Softball Magazine. You can get a maybe get a closer view there. Um, from here, uh, it's all finished engraving. We would take it off the engraving machine, uh, fill it in with a white color, which is really going to make it jump out at you. Um, and you'll see here, I'll turn it for you. All right, we'll put the white paint in and then, uh, then we'll get another shot of it and it'll really, it'll really stand out. All right, here we go. Uh, now that we've finished engraving, we can fill it in with uh, white using my artistic finger. We can also do this in really in any color uh, in order to match any team's color scheme. I probably have about 15 different colors I use uh, in Maine. Uh, so far here we have black, red, yellow, and white uh, for the options.
All right, so now that we've finished the engraving, um, we fill it in with white paint. Uh, once this dries, I would wipe it down a little bit more just to make it look a little cleaner. But as I always tell people, you're just gonna throw it in the dirt after you get base hit with it. Thank you for visiting our uh, German German bat shop. Uh, we've been making bats in Maine since 2006. This is our third year of providing bats, uh, high quality wood from Maine uh, to customers in Germany. Uh, right now we have people swinging bats all over, all over Europe. Uh, we ship bats all over the US. Uh, we started making bats with a CNC machine for the first time in 2012 in Maine. So we have a many years of experience and if you have any questions please feel free to email us. Uh, you can find us at uh, mainebats.com M-A-I-N-E-B-A-T-S dot com. Uh, you'll find my email address on there. When you send an email to that uh, it always comes to me. Any questions you have about bats or copying your bat or where the wood comes from or, or how a bat is made, uh, we're happy to help out and uh, we hope we can help you get some hits in the future. EBSM, thanks for swinging by Good Mueller. We appreciate it. All right, Maniac, go for it when you're ready. All right, so as you see, the uh, we put the, uh, what are we, EP, uh, sorry. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> EPDM, is it? It's EBSM. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. And what does that stand for? Uh, European, yeah, yeah.